Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to block ads in the browser Vivaldi. So many of you already know what Vivaldi is if you're looking this up, but this is a new or a fairly new browser that is similar or inspired by Opera and it's similar to Chrome as well. So let's get into it. So as you can see here, I have Vivaldi opened up on my Mac. Um, in the top right or so, there's uh, Adblock Plus, and that is the extension we'll be using. Um, you can see how many have items have been blocked. You can block ads and various other things. So, how do we get this? Well, well, like I said, this is similar to Chrome. It's built on the Chromium Web Project. So, you can go to the Chrome Web Store, just search that, and you can use Chrome extensions. So, search for Adblock Plus has over 170,000 ratings and reviews, 10 million plus users. So just install it and it should be pretty fast. Once you have it, it should come up up here. Then you'll want to click the settings button right here. And some things you'll want to check. Block additional tracking. Um, you can see if you want to block social media. Allow acceptable ads is what I have turned off because I do not want any advertisements that I don't have to have. And there's various other things you can do. Whitelist websites, there's advanced, and there's help. So now that we have have all that, let's actually test this out. And we'll start by going to YouTube. This is a popular site people like to block ads on. And it says how many ads or things have been blocked, and so far it's been two. We'll search for a video, and there are ads like this, which is annoying, and I... Wish those could be gotten rid of, but let's check if there are ads on an actual video. And now it's working. It had an error at first, I don't know why, but now it's working and there are no advertisements. There's none up here like there sometimes are, there's none un underneath or anything, and there's none on the video. So except for that error, it's been working great. Let's try another video. The truth about 5G. An error occurred. We'll just push play. This episode of and there's no ad, so I do not know why that has an error. And that's unfortunate, but I'd say this is better than nothing. You don't have to look at any ads, even though it delays you watching it a little more than some. There are still no ads, and there are none at the top right or on the actual page. So I don't know why it has that error, but it's nice that you don't have to see an ad. So... It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so now let's try some random news website. Here's Engadget.com. Let's see if there are any ads on this page. And there are none so far. There are none on the sides. There are none um, at the top or in the actual article. Let's try one more. CNN, for example. It's a popular news site. It probably has advertisements. And there are no ads. There are no ads here or mixed in with the articles. Let's actually click a specific article to see what it shows. If it shows any ads. And there are none on the side. There are none in the article. And there are... None underneath, it appears. So this proves, I think, that this ad blocker does work. As you can see, it's upping the numbers of things blocked. I don't know why there was that error on YouTube, but as you saw, we didn't have any ads after that. And so, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment any questions you have, and please subscribe if you thought this was helpful. And thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.